Hi, I'm Lucy Piper and welcome to the phenomenon that is Nutribullet. Okay, so you're ready to get started. I'm telling you, not only is it super easy to use, the cleanup is an absolute breeze. You're gonna love it. As with any appliance, always read the instructions, but here's some handy tips to ensure you're up and running quickly. So, I'm going to demonstrate for you making the cleansing blast. You'll find that right here on the quick start guide. When you open the box, you're going to need just three components. You're going to need your cup. Now you can choose from a tall cup or a short cup. Today, I'm going to use the tall cup. You're going to need the extractor blade and, of course, your Nutribullet base. Obviously, plug it in and you're ready to go. It's going to taste delicious. Firstly, you're going to add your greens. And in this instance, I'm going to use spinach. Probably two big handfuls should be enough. There we go. Now I'm going to take some pear. Now there's no need to peel it, just remove the core and pips. So in go some nice pear. And then you're going to add your peeled banana. Again, you don't need to chop it. The Nutribullet will do all the work for you. In goes the banana. And then I'm going to add the apple. Pop some apple in. And uh, finally, some chopped pineapple. I love pineapple, in it goes. Now you can add some ice if you want to, but there's no need to crush it first. Remember, the Nutribullet will do all that work for you. Now it's time to add the liquid. Now, most people quite like cold water, but if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you could add some coconut water, some almond milk, or any other cool liquid that you fancy, but never hot liquids or ingredients though. Now you do fill up to the max line. Now you can see the max line on your cup there. Now if you prefer a thicker blast, then don't add so much liquid. But if you prefer a thinner one, then just fill up to that max line, but never over the max line. Okay, then you gently pop on your extractor blade. Now make sure it's secure. You don't want it too tight because you've got to undo it. But then again, you don't want it too loose because you don't want the water to come out. Then basically you just pop it onto the base and you're going to just push and twist in a clockwise direction to lock the motor into place. Check it out, look at that colour. Now remember, never allow the motor to run for more than one minute. You'll get to know just how long it is, the right time for you and the consistency that you like, but usually 30 seconds should do it. Now all you do to turn the neutral bullet off is to gently press down and twist it counterclockwise and that will release the extractor blade from the base. And to ensure the motor has stopped before you take it out. Now you have your completed nutrient packed Nutriblast. I'm just going to remove the extractor blade. Now it's always important that you release the internal pressure and then either pop on a comfort lip ring or you can drink straight from the cup if you prefer. Just remember it's important not to leave blended mixtures sat inside the sealed vessel for long periods of time without releasing internal pressure. Otherwise this can cause the cup to burst but this applies for any sealed vessel. If you're not going to drink it straight away just pop on the Nutribullet Stay Fresh lid but but I want to see how this tastes and give this a go. It definitely looks good. Mmm, that is so good. And you know you're getting something healthy down you every single day. Cheers.